Hello everybody. I'm Bishop Dr. Peter. I live in the United Kingdom in England and I'm the founder of the church Christian Warriors for God and I am delighted to be with you here today to have an opportunity to just say a few words to you. Now I know I hope you know that our Lord Jesus Christ had a special place in his heart for children. On one occasion, he actually rebuked his disciples who were trying to stop the children from coming to him, telling them to let the children come to me. And indeed, on another occasion, he talked about if we are to grow close to, to God through him, we need to become like children. Now, I have a big place in my heart for you children. I know that your lives are difficult. I know that the struggles that you have to face. And I have and will continue to pray for you. And our God is so awesome that I know he will respond to my prayers. So in a couple of moments, I'm going to say a prayer to you. But I'd just like to say to you, I'm so pleased that you're interested in understanding more about who your real father is, your father in heaven. You know, it says in the Bible that God so loved you and me that he gave us his only son, Jesus Christ, so that whoever, whoever believes in Jesus Christ will never die and will have eternal life. And I'm pleased that you're having the opportunity to learn more about him because all of us, adults, old people like me and young people like you, have a responsibility to know God better. And you can only do it through the help of the people that are helping you in your classes and teaching you things. Now I know, as I say, that you live under difficult circumstances. It's not always been easy to be a Christian in, in your country. And we're aware of that. And you are constantly in our prayers about that. But I wanted to give you a message, a simple message, a message of hope to let you know that you're not alone. There are people like me all around the world who are concerned about you, who care about you, who love you. Because you are effectively like my brothers and sisters in Christ. And I wanted to reassure you of that fact. Because in all of our lives, there are times when we feel alone. But we're never alone, of course, because God is always with us. But you're also never alone. Because you've got people like me, and there are many like me, who care about you, and pray for you, and do what we can to help you. So I'm going to finish now. And just say short prayer to all of you particularly the, to the children well, Father God we give thanks to you for this day we glorify your name we give all honour to you Lord I come before your throne today lifting up these children and adults who are 
working hard at being your servants, trying their best to live, albeit under difficult circumstances. Father, I ask you, I implore you, I beg you to pour out your mercy, your grace and your blessings upon them. Make them know in their hearts, Lord, how much you love them and how much we love them as well. I ask all this through the mighty power, the mighty, mighty power that is in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Okay, that's enough from me. You probably see I'm at home sitting in my lounge waiting to have my dinner. Although um, it's 5.25 here in England, so that makes it probably nearer 9.25 in the evening where you are. But it doesn't matter, you'll get an opportunity to see this video. May God bless you all. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. I love you all. Bye for now. Bye bye.